this After Effects tutorial, I'll show you different techniques for creating abstract background animations without plugins. Hey everyone, my name is Manuel, let's dive right in. First of all, let's animate abstract lines without any plugins. We use the pen tool and draw a line that reaches beyond the edges of the comp window. Hold shift to make it a straight horizontal line. No fill, let's set the stroke Let's set the stroke width to 2 pixels. We use a linear gradient of stroke. Choose two colors like yellow and orange. Then set the start and end of the gradient. We need to press V to return to the selection tool and to see the two points for the start and end of the gradient. A horizontal gradient direction. Then let's add wiggle paths from this drop down menu here. We open the settings. Let's set the size to 750, detail to 2, points to smooth, wiggles per second to 0.5, correlation 50%. Next, let's animate the line with expressions. Before, we add an object, name it controls, and add to expression controls, slider controls. With these two slider controls, we control the speed and the movement of the animation. Let's set the speed to 0,1 and the movement to 100 for now. We lock this view up here so that it is visible at all times. Then we start with the temporal phase. We add an expression to the property and use the wiggle expression. Wiggle and in parentheses, we link to the speed slider control. Set a comma. Then we link to the movement slider control. That's it. 0,1 times per second, the value animates max 100 degrees in both directions from the start value. We copy the expression, then add an expression to the spatial face property. Paste it. And to the rotation property of the layer. Press R, add an expression, we paste it again. One more thing, we add an expression to the random seed property and refer the value to the index number of the layer, index. Number two, the layer has the index number two to make sure each layer has a different animation pattern. You can see the random number change. Finally, to repeat the line, we add echo to the shape layer. Echo time, minus 0, 0, 0,0333, number of echoes 50, decay 0, 0,95, echo operator add. To make it a loop, you need to loop the wiggle expression. And there's a way to do that. Check out how in my free expression sheet. You'll be surprised how expressions can change and speed up your workflow. Create easy to use templates, create animations that aren't possible with keyframes, like a particles rig, for example. Once set up, you can use it again and again. I know it's overwhelming at the beginning. That's why in my course, we start from zero. In 30 lessons, we go through the basics. Basic expressions, responsive animations, dynamic text animations, and repetitive techniques. A more than 50 page long expression sheet will accompany you. Plus bonus content with even more application examples. Upgrade your skills and learn how to animate with expressions in After Effects. The links are in the description. Next, let's create a time displaced background animation. First of all, we double click on the rectangle tool to create a shape. This time we use a linear gradient as fill. No stroke. Then let's choose two colors, like a dark purple and cyan, for example. We need some contrast. Then let's quickly adjust the start and end. And name it, of course, background. Awesome. Next, we need a time displacement map. We add a new solid, Command or Control Y, and name it displacement map. Color doesn't matter because we add a gradient row. Quickly search it in the effects and presets window, add it. We use a radial ramp and move the black start of ramp to the center of the comp. 
540 pixels. Then we add Posterize. Level 7 is fine. And this creates circular shapes. Let's move the end of ramp outwards to scale them up. We select the background shape again and add time displacement. Let's hide the map. Choose the time displacement map in the effect. After effects and masks are applied, max displacement time, one second, time resolution, 60 frames per second. If it takes too long to render, you can lower this value. Nothing happens yet because we need to animate the shape layer. Quite simple, we rotate it. Zero degrees at the beginning, 360 degrees or one revolution at five seconds. Then we add the loop out expression and add in quotes, ping pong inside the parentheses. The animation plays back and forth. To fill the whole screen, let's scale the shape up. Around 220% should be enough. More about the loop expressions in my expression sheet. Based on the brightness of the time displacement map layer, the rotation animation is displaced by max one second. That's how this effect is created. And finally, let's create this shiny background loop. We add a new solid, name it background. And we use fractal noise instead of turbulent noise, because fractal noise has a loop option. We set the fractal type to turbulent smooth, the noise type to linear. We increase the contrast to around 200, brightness minus 50. In transform, we deselect uniform scaling and set the width to 10, the scale height to 3000, complexity 1. To create a loop, we activate cycle evolution in evolution options, then animate the evolution. Zero degrees at the beginning and one or however many revolutions you need at the end. One frame after the last frame. Only complete 360 degree revolutions. One is fast enough. It perfectly loops. Next, we add directional blur to smooth it. Blur length, 200. Then we add Tritone to colorize it. Let's keep the highlights white and the shadows black. The midtones, let's use a dark yellow. We duplicate the solid to add a second layer. We set the blending mode of the top layer to screen so that the bottom layer shines through. Then we adjust the fractal noise settings of the bottom layer. Let's increase the contrast to around 350 and set the scale to 50 width and height. We need to change the midtones color. Let's choose a darker one, like a grayish purple. It looks like an animated curtain. After Effects offers lots of ways to create unique backgrounds. Make sure to check out the links in the description. On the left side, I've added a video you might like. Thanks for watching this one. See you in the next one. Bye everyone.